Hey everyone, it's Deneen here and welcome to December Daily 2024. And I'm beginning here with just a super quick video of my table of contents page where I'm using these adorable little banners. And I also created some bulbs, uh, same size as the vellum bulbs in the main kit. They're just um, done on vinyl with paper behind them. And then I also cut out the center colored parts of the bulb separately in uh, several different colors so I can see which ones I like the best. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my rolling adhesive here to adhere the colored part to the gold part of the bulbs. And I have several different colors that I printed out and cut through my silhouette. Um, yellow, a couple different greens, pink, um, two different reds, I think. I wasn't sure how the red would look because it is a red background, but I wanted to just give it a try. And I think I do end up using a red one or maybe it's the pink one. Um, but this is just kind of simple here, just putting them back together, right? I cut them out through my silhouette and now I'm just putting them back together. I'm comparing reds just to see. Remember, what you print out may not necessarily look exactly the same as the physical pieces in the kit, depending on your printer. So it's always a good deal just to see how the reds look together. And I'm not a big deal person when it comes to matching reds. Um, it doesn't matter to me, but I just wanted to stand out a little bit. So here are all of the 25 banners. I'm placing them just randomly. Um, ideally, it would be six in a row and four rows, but of course there are 25. So one of the rows is going to have to have a seven. And so that I picked to be my third row. And then between each of the banners, just a couple, just spacing them out a little bit here and there, I'm just adding one of these bulbs. And I think I come to a total of seven of the bulbs that I use. And you're just gonna wanna eyeball it, right? Just kind of look and see what looks good. I wanted some of the bulbs to be pointing in different directions. I also wanted them to be scattered throughout the page as well. And I'm also tilting the banners a little bit because I just, I don't want them to just lay in a straight line. I want them to kind of look like maybe they're blowing in the wind or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, here is a piece of elastic cord and I am going to be placing that elastic cord across the page and I'm going to wind it around the page. Originally, I had thought that I would use my tiny attacher to staple it, but I pulled out a piece of scotch tape just to put it in place to start. And then on the back of each of these little bulbs, I'm going to take a foam square and I'm going to cut it in three. So first I cut it in half and then one of the halves I cut in half. So I have two little pieces to put at the top of the bulb and then a longer half of a piece to put at the bottom. And then I will just kind of use rolling adhesive on each one of my banners. And I am going to just put the cord underneath and I'm going to put the banners on top. And that's pretty much about it. All you're really going to see here is me just moving the cord, twisting the cord, turning the cord, trying to make it, trying to make it look, um, you know, just not perfectly straight. I didn't want it to be perfectly straight. So I'm just kind of moving it around. Now, those pieces that I did twist there and create a like a little circle, so to speak, um, I do end up putting an itsy bitsy teensy weensy piece of score tape underneath and just using my paper piercer to push the score tape so that it can only be underneath the cord. And the thicker cord you use, the easier it's going to be to hide that little piece of score tape. Now I looked to see what type of cord I have here and it did not give a size on it. So I'm not really sure. I know that if you go to a hobby store that you can look at the different thicknesses of the cord. And again, it just didn't have a size, but this is not very thick. So I had to be careful adding my score tape underneath the cord. Okay, so I'm moving along here. Um, you'll see here that when I get to the end of the line, I don't cut it. I decide that I am going to just kind of wrap that cord around and go to the next level of banners. So you'll see, just going to bring it down and over to the other side, and I'm just going to kind of wrap it like that, okay? Now, as I'm telling you this, I just want to point out that 
um, after I was done with this video, um, I did decide to take little itsy bitsy teensy weensy pieces of foam adhesive and place it at the bottom of each banner. Okay, so it's 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 not the usual foam adhesive that I use. It's this really super old, they're tiny dots and they're thinner. They are thinner than the current foam adhesive that I've been using. So they really gave it just an itsy bitsy teensy weensy bit of dimension, but I wasn't really looking for dimension as much as I wanted it to kind of look a little bit more level. So that is one thing that I changed after I had finished adhering all of the banners and all of the bulbs down. So the bulbs are using the current foam adhesive that I work with, which, let me look here, that is the, um, let's see, Scrapbook Adhesive 3D Foam Squares. Okay, so that's what I currently use. So the bulbs are a little bit higher than the banners because the banners, and I wish I could tell you what kind of uh, little foam dots they are, but they are so super old and there's no packaging. Um, but if you go online, you could probably find them. I'm sure they still make them. There's just a different thickness to different pieces of foam adhesive. So um, that's something that you want to um, think about as well. So anyway, um, if you want them to all look like they are more raised, you can totally use the scrapbook adhesive squares underneath the banners as well. Okay, so basically as we go through this, I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Um, you could use embroidery floss instead of cord. You can use wire instead of cord. Both of those things would work well. And of course, you do not have to hang them uh, the way I hung them. You do not have to kind of make them go back and forth. You could hang them completely um, you know, in a straight line or you could bow your line a little bit and have them like hanging more towards the middle. There are so many different options here, um, but I believe that these little banners were designed for this purpose. I think that after Allie started doing her contents pages that she really liked doing that, and I'm so glad that she has continued to supply us with little things like this in order for us to do contents pages each year as well. If you remember from last year, they were circles. So the circles last year were larger. And if you take a look at uh, one of my other YouTube videos from last year's content page, you will see that I made a flip out because the circles were larger and they needed more space. But in this case, these banners, they just fit so super nicely um, on a 10 by eight spread. And that reminds me, if you are doing a six by eight album this year, that would be where the flip out would come in handy for you. Or you can just do two six by eight pages across a spread. So those are two different ideas that I wanted to point out to you while I am doing this. Um, alrighty, so let's kind of just speed this up a little bit and I'll get to show you what it looks like when I am done. Okie dokie, so that was actually a pretty simple process, and I think this is definitely doable for um, almost anybody. Um, and I just wanted to point out too that if you don't have a cutting machine, you still can totally duplicate this type of page um, by just printing out bulbs um, and cutting them out by hand, right? So you don't need any kind of fancy technical skills for this particular page. It is simple, it is fun. You'll see that I also added at the bottom chipboard phrase from last year's December Daily Collection. And then I just put, you can see three 
tiny chipboard stars that I just scattered amongst um, all of the bulbs and all of the banners. So that was the only thing I did after the fact, in addition to putting the tiny little dots underneath each banner. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for playing along with me today. I'm really, really looking forward to this December daily season and making process videos and sharing with you and then seeing everything that you guys share as well. I'm super excited and um, I can't wait to get started with the December daily pages. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will see you guys very soon.